Okay, so it's about mid-season now. It's finally frozen. We're finally getting a migration. New birds are here. Fresh birds are here for the Savage group. I think we have a full group of girls coming. <laughs> All right, so my name is Cole Townsend, and Thomas Gilpin is my business partner up here in Alberta, Canada, where the big pandas and ducks are. We got snow geese specs as well. We're here in Alberta, Canada, hunting waterfowl. Oh, yeah. I was honored Savage asked me to be a mentor on this hunt, like this bucket list hunt and <laughs> bucket list waterfowl hunt in Canada. I'm actually an adult onset hunter, so no one else in my family hunts. I've had a lot of incredible mentors along the way that if they hadn't showed me the ropes, um, I'd probably still be sitting in a marsh puddle. <laughs> I love bringing in new hunters because the experience as a whole can be life-changing. It can give you a sense of pride and like a sense of, you know, accomplishment. My name is Lindsay and I am from Washington State. Hi, I'm Olivia, and I'm here on this trip because Allison invited me through Savage. I kind of grew up hunting with my dad. I kind of lost touch with it. It became really important to me to get back into hunting. I'm definitely new to waterfowl, but I've done some big game hunt back home, especially with my older brother. He got me into it. So for the past couple of years, I've been doing some whitetail hunting. We like to wait for the birds to come and finish. We don't like sky busting. We don't like shooting them high. We want the birds to be in the decoys so they can kill them, no crippled birds, and everything be fine. If we say stop shooting, stop shooting, because the dogs are out front. It could be one heck of a day. I was parking the trucks and driving around the field when the first group of ducks comes in and like six or seven fall out of the flock that comes right into the decoys. And I was like, whoa. They came in tight, they got them down. It was a nice blessing. And then the rest of the time here, uh, the girls didn't really care about the hunting as much as being able to just watch the birds work. And I think guys fall short in that sense. When, when they come up here, 95% of the people we get just want to shoot birds. They just want to take them down. It was wild. It was like, they were just everywhere. It was a it was a snow nato <laughs> of geese and, and ducks at times, and um, there were so many birds everywhere. When he called the shot, I didn't even want to shoot. I just wanted to watch the birds. It was amazing. Stuff doesn't always work out. It's hunting. A big thing for us is for people to come up here and enjoy the experience. This is their first time coming up here to hunt. They shot well. I really didn't know what to expect because this is my first time. And seeing it all has been pretty epic. Just to be able to see the mixed bag of birds that we got, seeing three different kinds of geese and three different kinds of ducks in a day is pretty neat. I've been working on my speckle belly call. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> I shoot better than every guy group that's been here. <laughs> like, seriously. Definitely hooked with waterfowl hunting. Um, I want to continue to learn and grow and just hopefully get to the point where I can take someone, some of my friends, and get them into it. But it is definitely game changing to get to experience this and definitely so spoiled for this to be my first waterfowl hunt. <laughs> Let's do this! It's 
really cool to be able to do this style hunting and, and watching our guides and learning how they're putting out the decoys and then being able to say, they're gonna circle a couple times and they're gonna come in right this way, you know, every single time and it's pretty spot on. People wanna share their passions with you. They want you to ask questions. They want to, to show you the education and things that they know. They, they wanna pass that on because they're excited about it. They want you to be excited about it. Take them. Yeah! And there we go. <laughs> Draining them. Yes. Ask a lot of questions and volunteer to help with everything. So, you know, if people are setting out decoys, help learn. Oh, <laughs> nice! I think it's really important for people to have somebody like Courtney guiding you along. It's so empowering knowing that I'm providing food for my family and friends, but I'm also like challenging myself to get out there. Grandparents, brothers, dads, get your girls out there. It's, it's a great time.